This is React Cast's episode 11, Recompose. I love working with functional components in my React applications. They encourage a more modular code, you don't have to deal with the this keyword, and it's very straightforward to use. You export a function that receives props as parameters and return UI. That's simple. But this simplicity of functional components is also limiting sometimes. There is no local component state, no way you can hook component life cycles, and so on. If you're anything like me, you may have wondered at some point, man, I wish I could do everything using functional components. And that's where the Recompose library can help you. It provides an assortment of higher order components that lets you enhance your functional components and do all sorts of things, including but not limited to local state and lifecycle hooks. Recompose doesn't work only with functional components, but again, there's where it really shines. So let's skip directly to an example. I have here my handy Zombie Almanac app. It uses a card-based interface. Let me show you in the code the card component. As you can see, it's a functional component. Now, what I want to do here is make so that the user can click on the card header to open or close the card's content. I usually use local state to manage UI state like this. But in this case, adding local state would implicate in changing this from a functional component to a class-based component. Instead, I'll use recompose. I have already npm installed recompose, so just import with state from recompose. With state, like many other recompose utilities, is a function that returns a higher order component. It's pretty much the same pattern used by React Redux connect function. First, you invoke the function with some configuration, so to speak, and this will return a higher order component. Then, you invoke it with your functional component that will be wrapped. In the case of with state, it accepts three arguments as its configuration. First, the name of the piece of information that you want in your state. Second, the name of the function that will be provided automatically to update that piece of state. And finally, the initial state value. Again, I want to be able to open and close my cards. So in this case, I will create an open state. The function that updates this will be called set open, and the initial value is true. Notice that by passing my card component to the higher order component, make sure that both open and set open are created and injected as props in my original component. In my div, I can now conditionally use a class name to show or hide the card's content. Instead of class name card open, I will use a ternary operator here. Is it opened? Card open. Else, card closed. I can also update the value of open using the set open function. So in the card header, I'll add an on click event handler. I'll just create an inline function here that calls set open with the opposite of the current value of open. Let me try this. Great, I can now toggle my zombie cards. That's very cool. But again, this is just one example of over 20 higher order components available in Recompose. So, shall we try a different one? If I refresh the browser here, you can see that there's a small delay before the cards appear. That's because I'm simulating as if the data came from an external, very slow API. What I want to do next is add a loading indicator. I already have a spinner component, which, well, shows a spinning wheel. And on my app component, I want to do a conditional render. If I have data, I'll show the cards. Otherwise, show the spinning wheel. You know, this is fairly easy to do. I can just add a conditional on my component itself. But in this case, I won't do it this way. I will use the branch higher order component from Recompose. It's not that doing a conditional branching would be difficult without Recompose. It wouldn't. But using Recompose, I can keep my app component small and simple and move away the branching logic outside. So I'll start by importing spinner from components spinner, as well as import branch and render component from Recompose. Next, I'll call branch. I know it returns a higher order component, so I'll go on and invoke it with app. Okay. Let's talk about the branch arguments. 
First, it expects a test function. This function will be used to decide which branch to render. The test function receives the props originally destined to the app component. So we'll check whether props.zombies.length is equal to zero, which means that, well, data is still being fetched. Next, I can specify up to two branches. The first one will be used if the test function returns true. Since my test function returns true if data is still loading, I'll render component spinner. Specifying the second branch is optional. If I don't specify it, it will simply render the wrapped component itself, in my case, the app component here. So let's test. Awesome, while data is being fetched, I have a spinning wheel. Again, I'd like to stress that I could have embedded this branching logic directly in my app component. This wouldn't have been complicated, but by using a higher order component, I kept my app component simple and focused. Back in the beginning of this screencast, I mentioned that I can also use Recompose for lifecycle hooks, so let me show you an example of that. My app component is already receiving a check auth function via props. It is supposed to be called when the component mounts to authenticate the user automatically, you know, like the remember me function. So I will import lifecycle from recompose, okay, and invoke it here, passing an object that contains my desired lifecycle hooks, in my case, component did mount. Props can be accessed through the this keyword, so I'll just call this.props.checkoff. Now, this returns a higher order component, I need to invoke it with my app component, but I'm already using the branch higher order component here. Well, I, I will just mesh everything together, like this, just to show that it works. And it does work. You can see in my console that I have a message confirming that the check off function was called and the user was logged. But back in my code, well, it, it's a mess. Fortunately, the recompose library provides a compose utility function to well, compose multiple functions into a single function. It is used like this. I'll import compose. Then I'll create a new composed function. I'll call it enhance. It's going to be made out of a composition of life cycle, like this. Let me copy it. And branch, like this. Now I can simply export default and call enhance on my functional component app. Let's try again. Yeah, still working and my code is way better organized. What's really cool here is that this is pure function composition. There's nothing special or unique about this compose function here. It works exactly like the function of the same name in the Redux library, or exactly like Lodash's flow write, for example. This means, for example, that if this were a Redux application, I could simply add connect to this compose here and it would work perfectly. It also works if you want to compose your own higher order components. Cool. Back on my card component, remember that I'm using with state to control whether the card is opened or closed. With state is providing a set open function so I can change the value, and I'm calling it from this onclick event handler using an anonymous function. There's a small problem here. A new anonymous function will be created every time this component re-renders. And while this is not a huge problem right now, it would only become a problem at a bigger scale, I'd rather create a handler function outside the render method and use it. That will be easy to do on a class-based component, I would just add a method, you know, but there's no easy way to do it here. Well, once again, recompose to the rescue. It provides a with handlers higher order component. I will import here both with handlers and compose. Next, I'll create a constant for my composed functions. I'll call it enhance again. It will contain the original with state. Let me update the export here to use the composed function. And now I will also add with handlers. With handlers, accept an object with any functions that you want to create. These functions must be carried as they will be called once with the component's own props before being injected in the component itself. 
Since I want to make a function to handle clicks, I'll first expect props, then the event. And finally, I have the function body. In this case, I want to call props.setOpen with the logical not of the current value of props.open. Let me test this. And working perfectly. You know, this was just a simple plater of Recompose. Make sure to visit the documentation for a complete list of all of the available higher order components. You can find the link on the video notes. You just watched an episode of ReactCasts. If you'd like to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And if you want to add to the discussion, participate and suggest new episodes, please visit github.com slash casiozen slash reactcasts. I would also like to thank Foomstack Academy for sponsoring this episode. See you on the next episode.